for these papers, I'm going through them really fast because we already have a very solid background with convolutions. At this point, we are really solid. We covered a lot of topics, so we have a solid foundation. You're gonna hear SISR a lot, that it stands for Single Image Super Resolution. The idea of this paper and the next one is that when you do a bicubic interpolation of your low resolution image, that's already a good approximation of the high resolution one. So rather than put, taking it and pushing it through a bunch of nonlinearity, try to learn the residual. And what it means is that you take your low resolution image that is, that is pushed through a bilinear or bicubic interpolation. And then in the end, you just add it to the output of your network. And then you are making the life of your network much easier. So it has to just learn the differences between this image and the input image. So this is another way of thinking about why residual networks were powerful and were working in practice. This is another way of seeing it when it comes to super resolution. And if you do that, most of these features are gonna end up being zeros or close to zero. And then learning them is not that hard. So in instance, this last one has, a, has only a few non-zero entries. Why is that? Because these are after ReLU. So ReLU is going to kill most of them and set them to zero. So the idea is not that complicated, but deep learning is a field of simple ideas that work in practice. And once you do that, you can actually do learn. We are actually doing the residual learning. You can use a high learning rate because you can actually have gradient clipping. And then you can also have multi-scale training. For instance, you take an image, a high resolution image, you can scale it down by two, you can scale it down by four, you can scale it down by eight. And these are gonna give you different scales that uh, you can train the network on all of them. And the second idea is that actually going deep is gonna help. There were some other papers before this paper that were claiming that apparently deeper neural networks are not helping uh, super resolution. But then this paper came along and said, if you do this this way, you learn the residuals, then it's going to actually help. This is the idea of multi-scale. It's the same network, so you're not training a different network for a scale of two. You're training your network to do all of these scales at the same time. And uh, that's the ground truth. That's what the network is. That's the resolution one. And that's what the network is predicting. This is the low, resol low resolution images. This is what the network is giving you. And it's only one network for all of these scales. So that's impressive. And uh, we can compare it with SRCNN now. This is blurry, this is more sharp. But the loss function that they're using is not a perceptual loss, it's just a L2 loss. So sometimes the contributions could be on the loss side of deep learning, it could be on the model side of deep learning. So this one is on the modeling side. It could be on the evaluation side, etc on the data side, and we can study the effect of depth. Yes, actually going deeper is helping this network for different scales. 